The following video is sponsored by Amazon. More about that later. In this video, I've partnered up with Amazon to bring you guys some information about the Echo Show. This is Amazon's smart display. We'll take a look at the device, we'll talk about its accessibility options, and even check out the show and tell feature. Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life, where you learn how to live your best blind life. If you enjoy videos like this and would like to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. So if you're not familiar, the Amazon Echo Show is basically the Echo with a screen. The Echo is great for productivity, communication, entertainment. I have a few Echoes stationed all throughout my house and I use them all the time. Some of the most common things that I use mine for and I think a lot of people do is simple things. Asking what the time is, asking what the date is, asking what the weather is, setting an alarm, setting a timer. Let's set, go. set a timer for 10 seconds. 10 seconds, starting now. What's the weather in New York City? Right now in New York, it's 65 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today's forecast has mostly sunny weather, with a high of 76 degrees and a low of 62 degrees. Oh, it's gonna be a beautiful day in New York City. These guys are powerhouses and can do so much more. Uh, listening to music, you can connect your Amazon Kindle and Audible accounts to these and listen to books, listen to audiobooks. They've got tons of games, trivia. I mean, she will even sing songs to you. <laughs> there's, there's just a wide variety of things you can use these for. Play Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. Staying Alive by Bee Gees on Amazon Music. Okay, unfortunately I probably had to mute that music <laughs> so I don't get a copyright strike, but she got it. It was perfect. <laughs> now first things first, let's see what comes in the box and we'll take a quick tour around the device itself. In the box you get the Echo Show itself, a six foot power cable, and some basic paperwork information. The device I have is the eight inch version. Right now you can find it on Amazon for right around $100. This is the middle size. There's actually a smaller size and then one even larger than this one. Some of the features include a microphone and a camera with a built-in shutter. It has a 3.5 millimeter port, but you can also use the built-in Bluetooth to connect to external speakers. The design of the Echo Show is very simple. Uh, you've got this large 8-inch HD screen. It is a touch screen. All the physical buttons are located across the top of the unit. Going from left to right, you have the mute button. This is the button that you would press if you didn't want your device to be triggered by the voice command. Next two buttons, we have a volume up and a volume down. Then finally, all the way to the right, we have a slider. And this is actually the slider that closes up the camera, covers the camera. So that's nice. So if you are concerned about privacy, you can close that up when you're not using it. So first let's talk about accessibility. This has a built-in screen magnifier and it also features Amazon's award-winning voice view screen reader, which if you saw my review of the Fire tablet, I think the voice view has the most pleasant sounding voice out of any screen reader I've ever used. It's basically, you know whose voice. Uh, starts with an A, I'm not gonna say her name. <laughs> but it's basically her voice as a screen reader. The voice view screen reader takes some of the best gestures from both talkback and voiceover and combines them into Amazon's own screen reader. Once the screen magnifier has been turned on, to initiate it, you just do a triple tap of the screen with one finger, zooms in, two fingers moves the screen around, and you can do a pinch to zoom gesture to zoom in or zoom out. 
Next, we'll take a look at Amazon's Voice View screen reader. You can turn it on and off with your voice, which is fantastic. Hello. Turn on Voice View. Voice View ready. So we get a little sound effect there. We get a confirmation. Voice View uses many of the same gestures that we're familiar with from other screen readers. You can place your finger on the screen and move it around to investigate what's on the screen. Once you find something, you can swipe left or right to navigate to the next item. If you want to pick something, you just double tap to choose it. 1148, shortcuts, communicate button. So here's one of the situations where the show is different than the traditional echo or the echo dot. Uh, I just asked for a recipe for chocolate chip cookies and it's displaying recipes on the screen, but it doesn't audibly tell me what those are. So this is a perfect example where voice view comes in very handy. I can touch the screen. Chocolate chip cookies, one of 25. All right, now I can swipe to the next one. One chocolate chip cookies. And I mentioned that the voice view takes a lot of the most popular gestures from several different screen readers and implements those. And one of those is voiceovers, two finger swipe down to read everything. And I love that. So I could do two finger swipe down. Chocolate chip cookies, two of 25, two chocolate chip cookies, 10,362 reviews. Wow. Rosemary chocolate. Turn off voice view. Voice view exiting. The Amazon Echo has a ton of skills that you can use and having a screen and a camera on the Echo Show opens up a whole new world of possibilities with the skills. Probably the one that I'm most excited about is Amazon's show and tell. Nice thing is it's not even a skill you have to enable. It's already turned on on the device. Show and tell is a feature where the Amazon show will use its camera to identify what you're holding. Now this is most useful in the kitchen. Products, uh, canned goods, boxes of food, that sort of thing. So I've got a couple boxes here. These are things that you would most likely find in the kitchen that you would maybe need to identify. A cereal box and a box of crackers. First, locate the camera on your device. Check to see if your device has a switch located on the top right of your device. If it does, your camera is embedded just underneath the switch on the front. Second, hold your item about a foot away and about a foot above the worktop or table. First, a soft tone will tell you that the camera is on. Start moving your item around slowly until you hear beeping, which means the camera can see your item. Then, hold your item steady and show the camera different sides. Okay, seems pretty easy. It's nice that she orientates you to where the camera is on your particular device. So I do have a switch on mine. That means my camera is up here in the upper right corner. So I want to kind of hold my item in that area, facing that area, about a foot above and about a foot back. Okay, let's try it. So to trigger it, you give the keyword, Hello. what am I holding? Let's see. Move it around. Oh. I think that's General Mills cereal. For more info on this product, say details. Okay, it is. But she didn't tell us what kind. Hello. Details. Cereal. Whole grain oat cereal with real honey and natural almond flavor. Honey Nut Cheerio cereal provides 0.75 grams per serving. Box contains one. She got it. And displaying on the screen is the Cheerios box and the information about it. What am I holding? Let's see. Oh. I think that's Jason Bread Crumb. For more info on this product, say that's hello. details. This details. One thirteen point seven ounces box of Ritz original crackers. She got it. Flaky and delicious snack crackers with a rich, buttery flavor. Okay, she got it. Ritz crackers, and she got it very, very quickly. So that's pretty awesome. Show and tell. 
These Echo devices are also great for staying in contact with family and friends. Okay, so I'll show you just how easy it is to use the Echo as a telephone. Uh, dial 859. Okay, Sam, one, eight, five, nine. It's calling it. There are also a ton of Easter eggs buried in the Amazon Echoes. I did a whole video talking about Echo Easter eggs. I will link that in the description down below. Earl Grey, hot. The replicators on this vessel are not yet operational. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, B, A, start. That was almost it, but not quite. If it's power-ups you seek, try again. <laughs> Put in the cheat code. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was a look at the Echo Show by Amazon. Once again, a huge thank you to Amazon for sponsoring this video and sending this device to me. If you guys would like more details about this, of course, I'll have all that information in the description box down below. I will also include some very helpful links, including a link to some information about using the Echo with low vision. If you like the video, please hit that like button. It helps out the channel. Share it on social media. If you like the content you see on The Blind Life, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Question of the day. What do you guys think about the Amazon Echo Show? Do you think it could be helpful for you? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you happen to be on Amazon checking out the Echo Show, why don't you head on over to the Blind Life Amazon shop where you can find awesome VIP t-shirts Link also in the description down below. Thanks again for watching, guys. As always, same with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.